All right, what's up, Fight Fans? Yeah, this is my first vlog um, for Squared Circle Productions. For all you people come from Twitter, thanks for following me. Thanks for hitting my link and coming to this YouTube page to check out my vlogs. I want to talk about boxing, a little bit of MMA, uh, kung fu movies, things like that. We're going to be hitting you with all kinds of stuff. Rants, vlogs, uh, kung fu movies, boxing matches, MMA fights, uh, soap operas, cartoons, all kind of stuff, you know, so a little bit for everybody, but mainly boxing center. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is the Bernard Hopkins fight. He fought Kovalev and he lost, and from what I hear, he lost every round. So it wasn't, uh, it was a convincing victory for Kovalev. Um, you know, I'm really kind of disappointed, man, because Bernard Hopkins really did a real good job, man. He's carried himself with a lot of dignity and class over the years. He's been around for quite some time, and uh, he's, he's just a, uh, 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 he's a good example of hard work um, and, and just continuing to push himself well beyond the age of 40. He was pushing 50 and was beating guys half his age, so... You know, I got nothing but respect and love for the brother, man, and I, I would like to see him continue. So that's the main reason why I brought it up is, is um, what are your thoughts on his future? You know, I mean, it, he has a lot of a lot of things he can do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe he retires. Maybe he goes back to the gym and tries again, you know. I mean, but to be 49 years old and to hold a, hold a title in the light heavyweight division, that's pretty amazing, you know. I mean, it just shows that with conditioning and hard work and, and, and being committed to being a defensive type fighter, where it can get you. You know, so all you young guys out there, you know, you might want to take them as an example and, uh, you know, <clears throat> study your craft a little bit um, harder and take it more seriously and take your body, treat your body right, work out, you know, get your proper rest and those type of things, you know, and continually grow and push yourself as a fighter, you know, once you get the money and all that, maintain that hunger and that drive for more. So, you know, uh, but I personally would like to see him continue fighting because I still think that he can fight past 50 years old and I think he can still hold a belt again, you know. So, but then again, if he's not going to get another legitimate title shot anytime soon, then maybe, you know, he should just kind of maybe just go into the other aspects of the game, maybe promoting maybe a trainer or something like that. But, yeah, man, just give me your thoughts in the comment section on what you think Bernard Hopkins should do. So, uh, but anyway, um, next on the list is uh, the Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, again, another brilliant performance by the champ. I mean, uh, and I'd like to see him, you know, again, everybody want to see him and Mayweather fade each other. So, you know, hope, supposedly it's supposed to happen. But I won't hold my breath. But, yeah, you know, I do believe that at some point those two fighters will face each other. And I, I just don't see them ending their career without having fought each other at least once. I personally would like to see a best of three. You know, I think that would be this generation's super fight. Because, you know, really, from where I'm coming from, I don't see, I haven't seen this generation's super fight yet, you know. I mean, could, maybe I'm sleeping. Again, leave your comments and your thoughts on that. But, you know, I came up in the uh, 80s. You know, I was born in the 70s. You know what I'm saying? So I seen a little bit of that, but really started following boxing seriously in the 80s. And I saw great fights, you know. And I saw the whole Tyson thing happen, you know. Um, and I saw really good competitive fights. Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, great fighters. Uh, Roberto Duran, Thomas Hearns, you know. Uh, uh, Donald Curry, you know, uh, uh, John the Beast Mugabe, you know, Ike Corte, you know, then I saw, you know, Roy Jones and him come up, I seen James Tony come up, I seen Oscar De La Hoya, I remember what's to do, uh, Michael Carbajal from the Olympics, I follow the Olympic fighters, I follow them from the Olympics into the pros, so, you know, and that whole 84, class 84, man, uh, Olympic class was, was a great one, okay, that's going to be another topic, um, later on in the future, who was better, the class of 76 
Olympic team or the 1984 Olympic team. So, you know, again, save that for later. Um, keeping it moving, Terrence Crawford had a fight. Um, and um, also Mickey Rourke made a return to the ring at 62. You know, so again, here's that age thing going. You guys, if you keep your body in shape, and you had to drive and determination. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can go out here and you can be competitive. Mickey Works said that he had some things going on in his life. He was going through some things. And boxing is what helped him straighten that out. So, you know, all you guys out here that's frustrated, whatever, man, hit that heavy bag, man. And, you know, if you're going to do that and you got the connections, man, step on in the ring and do something. I mean, either you're going to, you know, you're either going to, blow up or you're going to bust. But at least you're doing something. Okay. Um, the Hall of Fame this year. The inductees are Reddick Bow, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, Prince Nassim Hamed, uh, Yoko Gushikin, a manager named Rafael Mendoza, referee Steve Smoger, uh, Smoger, don't know. Journalist uh, Nigel Collins, broadcaster Jim Lampley, uh, and then you got some some guys resting in peace, but uh, Masao Oba, I hope I'm saying it right, Ken Overland, and publicist John FX Condon, Condon, excuse me. <laughs> uh, far as MMA goes, I'm not going to deal with the UFC too much, but uh. John Bones Jones. What year, if he exhausts all his competition this year, if he wins all his fights this year, 2015, does he step up to the heavyweight division in 2016? Hit me up in the comment box. Let me know what you think. Um, don't have nothing to report on King of the Cage yet or BFC. That's a local MMA from the Midwest region, you know. Uh, as far as my Kung Fu movies, Legend of the Shadow of the Sword was a really good movie. It's more of a Wuxia style film. That's W-U-X-I-A. Uh, hit a wiki page on that. Read up on Wuxia style films. Things like, uh, movies like uh, House of Flying Daggers. That would be considered a, a Wuxia film. You know, where they go on an epic, it's a journey and an adventure. And there's usually like a love story somewhere in it. I, I love that type of stuff, you know. Comet Butterfly Sword is one that kind of fits that little description, you know. So, again, Legend of the Shadowless Sword. Really good movie. Um, and I want to uh, send a shout-out to Shannon Briggs, man, for showing me love on Twitter. You're the first person that I follow that followed me back. You know what I'm saying? So, sh shouts out to Ed Cannon at the Cannon Briggs on Twitter. Hit him up at the Cannon Briggs. Follow the brother, man. You know, and I'm with you on your quest to regain the heavyweight championship and bring it back to America. I'm gonna do a rant about specifically about that. But yo, bro, thanks for showing me love and hit me up and follow me because you didn't have to do that. A lot of celebrities sometimes they'll take all kind of followers, but they won't follow nobody back, man. So thank you for showing me that love, man, and I'm going to ride for you. I'm going to try and promote for you, too, and help you get that fight, man. Make some noise out here on the Internet and let it be known. The people want to see a competitive fight. And right now, I don't see nobody in the heavyweight division that can give it to them but you. Like I said, again, another OG in his 40s, great shape, better shape now probably than when he was in his 20s. But staying dedicated to the gym with that hunger and determination. Give him a chance. Until next week, peace out, fight fans. One love.